Hello my friends of Quadri Labs, my name is Sol Montoya, please welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is about Frixi. Okay, it's Frixi and Python or a better way to couple Frixi in Python. So what we have done, we have done a tutorial, we have done two things. First a tutorial and then we have done what is it's not a package, it's a Python class that will help us to parse, to read the simulation data and as python data frames and with that we can create awesome graphics you will see okay you are going to receive in um in the description of the video the compressed version of this folder so and then we are going to work with anaconda in my case i'm going to use jupyter lab you can use jupyter notebook it's the same so cd documents documents cd x1 okay and then here jupyter lab great mm -hmm. so what what has this tutorial so we have a in file so and this in file is actually based on the Frixi documentation uh, is a tutorial to a specific seawater where we insert the the units are ppm the ph the mp the density the temperature some redox and the concentration of calcium magnesium sodium potassium um, and the other ones okay the, in the original there was uranium here, however I took it uh, away because my intention of this tutorial is just to show you the main part of the simulation and to work about the species and the saturation index, okay? So this will appear in your computer, however may, you might be using this one, I use the, that one. Okay, so in scripts you are going to find this working tool is actually the class okay this is the class that will help us that has commands to read to run to read and to show you to run to show you the parts of the simulation and to read the output data so here is our geochemical model okay so i'm going to clear our outputs to show you Okay, first we import the OS, we are a pad lib. This pad lib because we this package it was designed to work in Windows, okay? So for that we need some special care about the pads because it's not the same as in Linux. It could it has not been tested in Linux. You can tell me later on. Okay? And then we, from that, with this, we import our um, our class that is inside here. You don't have to worry much about this. Just to remind that we haven't done a Python package. What we have done is just a class. Okay. So we create our object, and then we define the first. We define where the um, executors are. So this is the Frixi bat. So this is actually the executable of the Frixi, where you install it Frixi from this link. Okay, and then we are going to work with Frixi dot that. That is the database of Frixi. Okay. So we run this. Mm. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So we run the first one. Then we run the second one. Great. And then we define the input file and the out file. So in this case, the input file is this one, that is this one that I have shown you. And the output file is will be here. I will delete this so you can see. So we can, I can run. Okay, that's it. So, and then here I can show you which is the input file and the output file yeah, this is just to to review where the or with which are the paths that you're working with 
Okay, then we can run the Frixi model because actually we have because we have all the parts, we have defined the executable, the database, the input file and the output file, so we can run the model. Okay, so this is the what is what you will see if you run Frixi from the command line. Okay, and then we you can we can show you which are the simulations. And then we have found one simulation. Okay, so this is show simulations. Yes, we have defined just one simulation. Okay, and then we can show the simulator components. Okay, why? Because in FreeC you can run one simulation, then you can take the simulation, then as an input for the next simulation. So this is, I think that this is handy in Frixi, however, it is kind of complicated in order to parse this and to, to read the output data, okay? Yes, so, and then we can just show you the simulation components, so the, these are the simulation, well, actually, end of simulation should not appear here. Okay, so we have an initial calculation true, and then we have a batch reaction false. Okay, so we have one in, one initial solution, and then we don't have any batch reaction because this is just an speciation model. Okay, so we can get the initial solution. Okay, with that we get the initial solution. In other tutorials, where we are going to get the batch, re the batch reaction. Uh, you you will see how this works okay so we have uh, many keys here the first one is we got the solution solution composition the description of the solution the redox couple distribution of species and saturation indeed that are actually if i can show you if i can show you because this is has been created and then here i can edit it with notepad and these are the parts of the of the solution. So this is a solution composition, description of the solution, redox couple, distribution of the species, and saturated index. Okay. So we are going to work with the solution of composition that is actually a Python data frame. Yeah. So actually, this is a Python data frame where we have the elements and the molality, and then we can do some plots that shows you the main elements of the composition of seawater that are uh, chloride, sodium, magnesium, sulfur, okay? Some calcium as well. And then we can get as, as well the description of the solution uh, where you have, for example, the density that this is not exactly the initial density. This is a calculated density and as well the specific conductance, okay? and other parameters as well as a pipe as a panda data frame and we can see the redox couples okay even that that you have inserted in the initial just oxygen so actually it recognizes that nitrogen is also a redox couple yep then we got the distribution of species so this is we only get the head because there are many species but where we, we have the molality activity, low molality and mole. And then if you see here, and the distribution of species, it's the same. The species, molality, activity, low molality, low activity, and so on. It's here. Okay, so we can show you the molalities for all species except um, hydro hydrogen plus and water yeah because these are the dominant ones so that's why we omit them so and then you will see this where you have this the component and all the species okay and then as you see for you the main ones are for chloride for magnesium for sodium and for sulfur so we are going to show you just the ones that are for chloride. And then we see that even that there are values here. There are values here. However, the main species is chlor uh, of chloride is chloride ion. 
chloride minus, okay? And for magnesium, well, there are magnesium plus two, however, magnesium sulfate is also a species and as well, magnesium bicarbonate is also a species here, okay? So that is why these are still, and there are minimal, and this is, this comes from the Frick C calculation that there are some concentration but are minimal in comparison with the main species, okay? But if you, if you want to see them, I mean, if you want, you can look, log i equal true okay and then you will see this on the lower but you are talking about on the molarities of 10 to the minus 9 for example that is maybe one <laughs> I don't, well we don't know yeah so that's why we better we put it this way we are going to talk about the sodium and as well sodium is in sodium plus and as well the species of sulfur and these are the species of sulfur here we see some distribution of sulfate, magnesium sulfate, sodium sulfate and calcium sulfate and potassium sulfate okay so we see that while the predominant is a sulfate ion and then we are going to work with the saturation index and this is Markdown okay and then this is the initial head because there are many components okay and then we can see which ones are the ones that are more saturated and less saturated okay for example in seawater is saturated from hematite and is saturated from pyrolusite and from talc okay and is undersaturated from CO2 so it means it can absorb more CO2 from hydrogen um, gas, from metallerite, metal melanterite, and siderite, okay, and as well um, silicium oxide, okay. So this is the main, the main distribution of the oversaturated and subsaturated species in sea water. I hope, I mean, I hope that this is a better, this was the original documentation. Okay, you can read more about this. And but, however, this one has the, has inserted the uranium species here and the phases as well. With phases, you will see here another phase here that is, that it will be if uh, sorry, if oh, you will see if uranium, sorry, 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 if uran, if uranium is saturated, is saturated or s s over saturated or subsaturated. Okay. So this is the distribution of species. Um, new tutorials are coming with the uh, different other exercise. We are going to talk about uh, equilibrium, uh, equilibrium phases and then batch reactions. Uh, we are going to do more plotting, but we are going to do plotting with Python, not with the Frixie tools and then we are going to save and also this class as well can read results it's actually you don't have to run the i mean you strictly you are not required to run the model i mean but you can read any any output of frixi and then you can create the graphics and analyze the the values of this okay so i was well i I think maybe this is my, this is the fourth class, Python class that I have written. And I think that it was okay. So I hope that you find it useful and see you in coming tutorial. My name is Olmotoya. Have a great day.
subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so and as we say in Spanish que viva el software libre um, bye bye bye